Good evening. I want to jump back on here real quick and let you know about dog proof traps. This is not going to be extensive. This is not going to be how I do anything. I'm just going to kind of give you a heads up on this is why I do what I do. Um, Freedom brand trap. Spray painted them white just to give them a little bit more eye appeal. It being deer season, a bunch of coons is on you, uh, you deer feeders. So if you'll if you'll spread them out around your deer feeder, then uh, when you catch one, have several. Don't just do one or two. Have several and spread them out around your deer feeder. A raccoon, if you know anything about coon hunting, they make a coon squaller. So when you're coon hunting, you act like you're you make this sound like a coon is squalling, and the the coon will come down the tree to help his friend. So when you catch one, he will start making racket and he'll end up calling his buddies in and he'll be over there caught and his buddy was like oh you can't reach over here so he'll come over there and he'll end up getting caught this freedom brand is a lot is real easy to set and it's set but the trigger is not very sensitive and the trigger is hard to work because it has to line up there's a lever in there that you have to make sure that it's perfectly lined up on and make sure you know to make if i don't know if you can see it in there but the trigger in there you know it, uh, you gotta anyhow it's hard it's a lot stiffer so i use the duke traps they're cheaper um the uh Somebody wouldn't talk. Evidently, they knew who I was. But uh, the Duke trap has got, you know, it's the trigger is pretty, pretty floppy. It's a lot easier to set. And it catches them just the same. But here's a little trick. These marshmallows. That size marshmallow. I don't know how many people know this, but when I figured it out, it really helped my catches. It's just the right size to drop down in there. You pull that trigger up and drop it down up under there. Makes that trigger a lot more sensitive. And that marshmallow is at the bottom. You put that marshmallow in the bottom, put a sugary cereal around your trap a little bit inside there, you'll go to picking. When he grabs that marshmallow on the bottom, picks up on it, it's gonna catch him up here. The coon likes to chew his feet. If you catch him in a foothold trap, 50% of the time, he's gonna chew on his feet and he's gonna try to chew himself out. But with this coon trap, he'll get caught up here and he can't reach back to get to his shoulder and he's caught and you, it's a lot better success rate. So keep that in mind when you're baiting up your, uh, dog proof traps reason they call it dog proof dog don't have thumbs he can't reach in there and get himself caught but a cat can so be careful you may come to check your coon traps and that's the reason i got away from cat food and that's the reason i quit using a bunch of uh a bunch of uh fish crawfish oil fish oil a bunch of that stuff that's the reason i quit using that it's because I was catching a bunch of cats in my dog proofs. They'd reach in there and them little claws and they'd hook it. They ended up getting caught and then you'd come down there to check your dog proofs and you got a cat. So, and them, some of them are, you know, wild cats. They don't like being touched. They don't like being turned loose. And it's very hard to get your hand down around this thing, even with a catch pole with a cat. It's got claws coming at you. So keep that in mind. Um, I know this has been a little shorter, but that's what I use. Duke dog proof traps, marshmallows, the medium size, they go right down in the hole, pick trigger up, stuff it in the bottom, set it, makes the trigger more sensitive, and you'll do a lot better on your catches. So until next time, Jesus grace is sufficient, and we will see you next time.